What's up, Norberg Nation? How's it going? At the end of every year, I like to take some time and think about what I can improve going into the next year. Now that I've been more consistent with my channel and reviewing a lot of races, I feel like I've gotten a better sense at what I need to work on going into next year. There's a lot of things that I see during a race weekend and during these videos that I review that I don't tell you guys because there's stuff that I think I need to work on and get better on as the season goes on. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a few of the things that I think I need to work on going into next year. And hopefully you guys can see some things in here that you need to work on as well and that will just inspire you to try and fix your driving and to become a better driver. But before we get into that, I need to thank today's sponsor which is OMP. OMP is a company that I trust completely to provide awesome racing equipment. They've provided me with suits, shoes, and gloves for years and it's been amazing working with them because I can always rely on their products. To show their support for this channel, they offered me an opportunity to get a free custom racing suit done through their company. If you guys have been following my Instagram and seen other photos posted from the rock race already, you might have already seen my racing suit, but I was able to wear this awesome racing suit designed by Howie Idelson at the Rock Vegas race. But before we get started with the video, I just want to say a big thank you to OMP and Howie Idelson for helping me get an awesome suit to wear at the racetrack. So enough with that, let's get started with the video. The first thing I need to work on in my driving is my body position. Something that's really bothered me about my driving style is that I hunch over in the seat. This doesn't just make pictures look bad, it actually affects the performance of the go-kart quite a bit. Because my shoulders are not all the way back in the seat, I'm taking weight off the rear axle. What that's doing is making the go-kart lighter on the rear of the go-kart compared to my competitors. Because of that, I have a lack of rear stability a lot of the time with the go-kart, and it definitely doesn't help when I'm setting up a go-kart. Now this is something that I've worked on quite a bit over the years and I think I'm progressively getting better at leaning back in the seat. But I still catch myself doing it a lot when I'm driving and I know it affects the setup of the go-kart. Another bad habit that tends to happen is that when I'm not feeling comfortable in the go-kart and I feel loose, I tend to lean even more forward and hunch more in the go-kart. If I'm unstable in the braking zone or anything, I tend to tighten up and pull myself closer to the steering wheel. This just makes the problem worse and creates more instability in the go-kart. This doesn't hurt me so much when the tracks are really grippy, but when the tracks are very free early in the week, it tends to hurt me quite a bit. Because I'm sliding around a lot, I always require a little bit more rear grip than any of my teammates or my competitors, and that can definitely affect the chassis setup. I've been trying to counteract this by always pushing on the steering wheel and forcing myself back in the seat as I go into the corner. This has helped quite a bit and is definitely getting better as I'm growing up, but it's definitely something I still need to work on going into next season. The next thing I feel like I struggle a lot with is low grip racetracks. Now I grew up on a lot of tracks that didn't have that much grip, but what's different back then that's different from now is that the tires when I grew up racing would put down a lot more grip than the tires that we have today. Even in the past couple years, the track evolution during the week was much more than what you see in today's racing. Now this doesn't mean that tracks can't get grippy as the weekend goes on, but the evolution that you used to see where rubber was piling up on itself in the center of the corner was a lot more then than it is now. Because I grew up racing on a lot grippier racetracks, I tended to drive into the corners a lot harder and get on the gas a lot later. I tend to narrow up my line a lot more than most drivers, and that worked for the time being. When you have a grippy racetrack, those are all the things you need to do to compensate for the extra grip. Honestly, in the beginning of the weeks, I would never really be that fast but I knew my racing line at the end of the week would be quick and I'd eventually pick up that speed and be fast by the end of the weekend. But what's happening now is that the tracks aren't evolving as much as they used to. So my racing lines aren't working. My braking points are too late and the time I spend off the throttle is too long. This is something that I'm trying to work on and slowly getting better at bringing the corner back, but I tend to catch myself always overdriving corners. So low grip racetracks are something that I kind of struggle with. I don't really feel the go-kart as well as I normally do when the track is grippy it just makes my weekend a lot more difficult than it used to be. Especially when you're a driver that likes to charge corners a lot harder and makes up a lot of your time in the braking zone, when you don't have that grip, it tends to make you a little bit slower. What I need to do is make sure I'm braking a little bit earlier into the corner and allowing the cart to be underneath me when I'm getting on the gas. I also need to be turning in a little bit later to the corner and getting on the throttle a little bit sooner just to help with the engine and to pick up some more acceleration off the corner. It sounds really simple to back the corners up and just to turn in a little bit later. But when your entire career you've won doing one particular driving style, to change it is really difficult. So something that I'm looking to try and change going into the next year is to try and back all the corners up a little bit 
and then to turn in a little bit later and get on the gas just a little bit sooner. It's not a huge change, but that little bit of difference in every single corner for a 25 lap final makes a huge difference at the end of the weekend. Now when it comes to racing strategy and how I race my kart, there's always one area of my career that I feel that I've been lacking, and that is aggression. Early on in my career, I felt like I was pretty aggressive as a driver. Unfortunately, what happened was one season, I think I finished one pre-final the entire season. That's because I kept making boneheaded decisions and crashing every single pre-final. So I'd end up having to start in the rear and then I'd throw away an awesome opportunity at a podium finish or a win. So what I did as a result of that was I stopped being aggressive and I started calculating my decisions a lot more. Unfortunately, that took me to the other end of the spectrum where I became a very hesitant driver and I would barely pass anybody in the first couple laps of a race. Now, as I've grown up, I've gotten a lot better at getting more aggressive and taking risks and managing that risk better but I still feel that I am very hesitant as a driver. Now, this driving style is a lot better for a championship, but it's not so good at one-off races where it's just winner take all. Because I'm hesitant, I always get the finish. I always cross the finish line in whatever position. If it's either crash for first or take second place, you know, I normally stay with just taking second place. This is great for a championship because you're always getting those points. But when you're at a one-off weekend, finishing second really doesn't do you any good. You lose the race either way, whether it's battling for first or just giving up and staying in second. This is definitely an area that I've struggled with a lot because I'm always hesitant to take risk. This year I felt like I was taking a lot more risk than I have previously and there was obviously positives and negatives to doing that. On the positive side I made a lot better passes and I think I've gained a little bit more respect on the racetrack. On the negative side is I crashed quite a bit this season than I haven't done in previous years. So obviously there's a balance to being overly aggressive and just aggressive enough. And then finally the thing that I really want to work on going into next year is tire management. This is something that I've struggled with quite a bit as the season's gone on. I would say a couple years ago I felt like I was really good at managing my tires. I would always take the first couple laps really easy and then as the race went on I'd find my speed and find my rhythm and I'd work my way back through the field. But what I've noticed is with the new tire compounds that came out, you don't really have to take the cart that easy in the opening laps. But you can't go too hard because then you'll burn the tires off halfway through the race and be slow for the rest of the race. Just like driving aggressively, there's a balance that I need to find out for these tires. There's definitely something that I'm doing wrong in the pre-finals where I'm driving too aggressively or driving too hard into the corner that's eating up the tire compounds so that by the end of the final, I'm not really in the best position to take advantage of opportunities. Because of the combination of body position and low grip tracks, where I'm driving too hard and then I don't have enough weight on the rear of the go-kart to hold the back of the cart in on the exit of the corner, I feel like that's contributing a lot to the fact that my tires are getting worn out a lot sooner than my competitors. I feel like it's definitely making me struggle a little bit more as the weekend goes on than I should have to. There are a few races where I've managed my tires really well, but I don't really feel like I did anything different on that weekend than I did on another weekend. So it's definitely a challenge for me to really understand what I need to do to better manage my tires. But it's definitely something that I need to work on going into next year so that I can manage better and understand how to keep the tires underneath me. If I can do that, I'll be there for these final lap runs and really be able to be more aggressive with other drivers because I'm confident in the cart that I have and I'm confident that I'm not gonna slide out or miss this pass if I go in late on the brakes. So there you have it. Those are the things I wanna work on going into next season. I think it's really important for drivers to take some time and really think about what it is that you do wrong that you want to change going into next year. What is a consistent mistake you're making every race? Not only on just your driving, but what is a mistake you make when you're racing every single time? Why are you losing races? Address the issue and understand what it is that's causing this so that you can fix it going into next year. Let me know down in the comments below if there's anything that you guys want to change for next year, but you don't really know how you can change it. If I've dealt with that same issue before and I can help you out, please make sure to leave a comment down there and I'll get right back with you. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. That's where you'll get any updates on my racing career. And if you like awesome racing content, I post a lot of really cool content on those as well. So make sure to check that out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot knowing that you guys are supporting this channel and are liking the content I'm bringing to you guys. So that's it for today, and I'll catch you at the next one.